the beginning, the earth was empty. Darkness covered everything, but God was there, and he had a plan. Let there be light, he said, and suddenly light shone all around. God called it day, and he called the darkness night. With light and darkness, the first day passed. On the second day, God said, Let there be a great space. So the space was formed, deep and high. God called the space, Sky. God made rivers and seas on the third day. He formed the mountains and the deserts, the islands and the beaches. He planted tall trees, swaying grasses, and flowers of every color. When the fourth day came, God put light in the sky, the fiery sun, for daytime. The stars and the sparkly moon at night. On the seventh day, God rested. On the sixth day, God created all the animals. He then created man, a man he named Adam in the likeness of God. In the east, in Eden, God made a garden in which grew every tree and plant. And at the very center stood a tree of life and the tree of knowledge. God put the man into the garden, telling him he might eat any fruit he wished except from the tree of knowledge. For if he were to eat that, he would die. Dog. Kitty. Horse. African yellow-bellied squirrel. Monkey. Moose. Llama. Mr. Durst's parents? <laughs> Is this being tamed? Unicorn! This is God! I command you to sleep! To you for a couple more years. Let's go. Oh, whoops. Put that back. What's this? It's squirming. Oh, Adam, what are you having you? I can go. A kitty? Oh, little baby kitty. Get out of here. Oh. Okay, here we go. We got the rib. Now let's go get you a wife, buddy. With the rib. That God took from Adam. He created Eve, what was to be Adam's wife. Alright, where did I put that rib? That's not rib. Here it is, Adam. Oh, there it is. Eve, come! Both Adam and Eve, his wife, walked naked and happy in the garden, and had no need of clothes. One day, Eve was sitting at the tree of knowledge. Now the serpent, the most devious of all living creatures, questioned Eve, asking her if she should eat any fruit she pleased. Buddy, come on, eat some of that apple. It's so good. Oh, I had one the other day. It's delicious. Don't listen to God. What has God ever done for you except tell you don't eat from the tree of knowledge? Eat it. So good. Go. Now go tell Adam how good it is. Oh, it's so delicious. See? Adam, eat this apple. It's so much better than those leaves. Adam, eat this apple. It's so much better than those leaves. 
But God told us not to eat from the tree of knowledge. But the serpent said it's okay. All right. Mmm. That's good knowledge. Here you go, babe. <laughs> Adam! Eve! Where are you? We're hiding. I can see you. Get out from behind the tree. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Come over here. No. No! You two ate from the tree of knowledge. You denied it a direct order from me, God. No, uh. -uh. Yeah, huh? No, uh. -uh. Yeah, huh? Uh -uh. Yes, you did. You're stupid. That's it. <laughs> And stay out! I'll have Michael here to guard the gate! Filming. Ooh, you're such a strong man! Are you filming? Um, wait, no. Well, we're getting to something. No, we're not. I think it got away from me. <laughs> the cat's gone. There's gotta be a better way to do it with Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. This is Adam and Eve. Stop it. This is the way, this is the way life began. Yeah. For Brian. And that's why you guys are all screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> all comes down from us. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's about time you guys change your ways and straighten out. And I think they all deserve an A. Right. At least for effort, if nothing else. That's for sure. Oh. All right, that's, that's yeah. good.